Hello and welcome back, good morning um, to a brand new video again. Um, today we've come across a, a little village called uh, Aylesby. Never heard of it, never been here before. And uh, yeah, I know I'm sat in the video looking at that because we're parked right at the side of it. And we just spoke to the policeman and uh, yeah, it don't seem too bad, um, to be honest. Anyway, so we've come across um, a church as well. Like I said, we've never been here before, obviously we haven't. So we're just going to take a walk um, and we part literally a place called Best Futurist. Uh, now obviously like I said we've never heard of it before so uh, well there you go. So right we'll crack on we'll go and have a look at this church first and then we're going to take a walk around the village and uh, see what's here and what's not here. But yeah looks a really nice church as well to be honest. Yeah, don't look too bad. I did say to the policeman, excuse me, I'm all right to park at the side of your police car. Go for it. <laughs> it's like, okay then, I don't mind. I don't mind if we do go for it. Uh, yeah, so like I said, it's uh, another village. Never been to it before. We did pass the board, I think, about three months ago, I think. And uh, if I'm totally honest, I thought today we'd just have a drive and, you know, take a look around. Now, we was going to another place today, but the road's been blocked off. So, due to the road being blocked off, we've not been able to... Uh, to go to this other location that was going to go to. Really big shame as well, but never mind. Hmm. Yeah, not a bad little church actually. So I thought I'd start the video off facing that police car. Ah, oh, policeman didn't mind. Ah, he didn't mind, so... <laughs> oh, police car's now gone. <laughs> oh, well. Hey. Now, well, we're going to take a walk around the village and just go and have a look, see what we can see and what we can't. Like we normally do when we uh, go to villages, take a look around. Now, there's no name for this church at the moment, but not a problem. There's what? Right, let me just have a look inside this. Yeah, there's a note at the back of the Oh, bird nesting in porch. Ah, right. Oh, well, that's it then. Right, so I'll bring you back when we uh, get back out. Right, so we're back out anyway. But yeah, what a nice church as well. Yeah, so if anybody's heard of this little village and knows anything about it, we don't. Like I said, we've seen the board for it, but we just decided to uh, take a drive out, take a look. You just never know what you might come across, like we normally do. Village notice. But there is something else as well that we've noticed near the church. It's like a a path and it goes down for 
some distance so we're going to try and take a look at that as well it doesn't look a very big village i'm going to be honest it doesn't look a big village at all see that's the way in from there oh wow look at that over there on top of that house and chimney stacks up there they're different <laughs> yeah, I'll just zoom into just across that road there, and if you just look at the top of that house, how different they are. Yeah, very different. Oh. And then you've got like a little brook. What runs just at the front of people's gardens there and they've got like little walk, walkway bridges on that side <coughs> don't look bad little village looks quiet it really does looks very very quiet Now we don't know how far around this goes, so we're just going to take a walk and just have a look. That's a bit posh. Manor Cottage, just to my right. Tell you what though, they've got some nice gardens. Look at that. Is that a well? I don't know if that's a well or not. Just over there, looks like it. It's like a, an old wishing well of some kind. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looked like anyway, some type of <laughs> wishing well in someone's garden. JB's Tasty Bites. Just over there in that garden. So if anybody knows that company, well, there you go. Oh wow, the size of that. That's huge. I like these lights though. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they're really nice then. Old lights. Mm. Field house. Sycamore house, just across the way there. Field house that I've just been showing you where them lights is. Then you've got Nairn House just across the road. That light's a bit odd, isn't it? Orchard House. Look at that. <laughs> well, nice. nice little village yeah like I said just where the car is there's like a big pathway that you can walk down it takes you to like a field of some kind so we're going to take a look at that on the back on the way back Beckford Lodge for sale anybody's interested in a nice little place there's one there oh that was a statue then it's not a bloody pigeon to new cottage yeah the other location that was going to go to today unfortunately the roads all blocked off shame it's a really big shame it is it's a really big shame small village but I did say it's quiet it is apart from the traffic Apart from the uh, traffic. Oh, 
wonderful properties though, very nice. Right, we'll see where this goes, so down here then. And then uh, we'll walk back up to where the church is and then we'll take a walk on that path bit. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going to walk a bit further down so it's around this corner. I know, I didn't realise. No, I did, right, let's just cross over while we can. Come on. Oh, right, look at that. That is huge. Well, I like the gates on that as well. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but I've just got to cut that. Oh, that is really nice. Yeah, that is nice, that. Wow. Got big eagle. Very nice. There's a flag up there. Oh, it's a football flag, is it? Or an England flag? What's that? Newt Paddock. I wish you were, uh, would just, you know, and say, yeah, keep in the barns. That's what that says. Alright, let's just, yeah, we're going to walk back in a minute because I don't know where that road goes. And then we're going to try and find that place where we, where we parked. Home farm bungalow. Just there as well. But just across the road. Now I don't know. Right, hang on, let's just walk further down. Let's just see what this great big place is here. I mean, that's Lavender House and Zen House. Just keep to the side. Let's see what this really big place is. Just keep to the side, there's a car. Talk about stunning properties. God blimey, look at these. Wow, they are nice. Look at that. Jumping bees. Look at that. Very nice. Right, so we're going to take a walk back up. And then we're going to go and find where that path goes to, or we're going to try and walk to see how far it goes anyway. Yeah, some very, very nice properties here in this village. I've got to be totally honest. Very nice. And then just as we came into the village, there was a Helicopter flying very low as well. I can't believe the size of them big statues and big eagles what's on that gate. Nice though, very nice. a bit of an old drain hang on yeah it's definitely a bit of an old one that because it's got the wood going round inside new paddock newt paddock should I say oh yeah them eagles on there look at that they are absolutely gorgeous them they're huge
you know if it wasn't for heavy traffic coming through like it is this place would be as as quiet as anything really would <laughs> alright Keely just spotted something I was Keely just about walk past it yeah, I don't know what it is. probably a footpath Probably a footpath. Oh well, why not? I'm going to take a walk through here and see where this goes. Don't know. Yeah, might do actually. Yeah, I don't know. What have you found? Yeah, good idea. Oh, what has Keely found? What you've got. Oh wow. I've got two. Look at this everybody. <coughs> Lanyards. Two, look at that. Look at that look. Lanyards on the floor in, in packages not even opened. No. Wow. Oh well. That's two. That's two. Well three. Well yeah three because I've got one round my neck as well. Which we found and it was uh, brand new Andy. still in the packets. Let's see if I can yeah, this is what I said. When you're out in places, you don't know what you're going to come across. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll come across some great big eagles, some husk shit. Ah. And some horses. Yeah. And you've just oh, well, I'm up for luck. Well, it says public footpath. There's a couple of good horses in the field. So we're just going to see where it goes to. Just be careful because it's. Well, look at the size of that garden. Oh my god, what's that over there? Never to god, that's a great big pond in their backyard like that. It chuffing is. Hang on. Look at that. That is nice, that. Really nice big backyard like that with your own great big pond. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, wow. <laughs> And how well presented that is. Gorgeous. Yeah, just be careful. Well, obviously, it does say public footpath. So we're just going to go and see. Ah, right. You can get out at the bottom here. Who would have thought that, eh? Who would have thought that? Finding them brand new, some of the packets not even opened. In a field where there's some horses. Nope, and there's the horses just over there in the background. So we'll see where this takes us then. Down to this bottom gate. Well, I was going to walk back up to where the car is and see where that path went, but since we've come across that, oh well, why not? Right, just be careful because it's full of nettles, that's what it looks like from here. Right. Just squash these nettles down for Keely. Just you know, to just try to be careful because there's nettles everywhere. Now we should have stuck to where we was going. Did you want to walk back? If you don't want to walk down there, are you sure? Mm. Look, it's all overgrown with nettles. We'll walk back through and we'll go back and we'll find that path where the car is. It's going to be a bit better than getting nettled up. There is nettles just everywhere down there. It looks like this path hasn't uh, been used in. Nope, hang on, you got company. No, oh, you're alright. Hey? Oh. 
Who would have thought a public footpath running through a field with horses in? Seriously. Try and walk on a bit, and because I don't want to be. Uh, oh, what's down there? Oh, you can't get down there. There's no way through. No, there isn't. So we're gonna have to go all the way back this way now. Yeah, because yeah, there's no through way there. It's only back up here. Yeah, so that path where we've just been through that gate, it definitely looks like no one's walked down there in a long time and we're keely only having shorts on again i don't want us to get all the legs stung up which has already just been caught with one nettle <laughs> so we're gonna head back up like i said to where the car is and then we'll see where that other path takes us but that that is absolutely what a garden what a garden there is that's brilliant very nice well done to the people that own it and i like how they've got the stripes on the grass as well how perfect it looks with them stripes it really does yeah i can't believe <laughs> them two lanyards well Different, different to come across that anyway. It looks like somebody's been smoking uh, them e fag things here because there's them um, e fag boxes on the floor as well. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's it's not something you find every day, is it? Do you know what I mean? Like when you go out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's um, e fag boxes. Look what somebody's. Uh... I mean, there's no bins. We haven't seen a bin anywhere. So we don't know if there's a bin kicking about. Out. Hey. Right, so we'll come back on the road. Oh, path. Got yeah, got two more, innit? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, that's where they got it is. This is what I said, innit? So this is why when, you know, we're out and about, we just come across unusual things. Well, you have with them anyway. Well, yeah, really nice properties, these. And what a very, very nice little village. And to be honest, it's nice. Even a pen. Wow. Yeah, so if anybody's interested in buying that, all I can say is, You'd be well happy. Bedford Lodge. Oh, nice Cooper. 69 plate. I just want to point that out. I know. Oh, good house. Look how sweet that is. It's nice, isn't it? It really is. Sycamore House, and then you've got Field House just there. Mark like them lights, they're pretty doody. Now, 
Now I have noticed one thing, and do you know what it is? There's no bus stop. No. No. There isn't. No bus stop anywhere. And I always thought in small villages you would at least get a bus stop. Or at least you, you would have thought you'd have got a bus stop. The mm -hmm. no bus stops at all. That garden's a bit overgrown like, but could do with a good trim up. I think it'll look alright once it's done. Alright, let's give me a minute. Alright, so this is what I was on about. The little bridge that you walk across into your gardens. And I have just noticed as well, and I noticed it earlier, that, that wishing well. And then if I just look further down, it looks like there's a, an angel. Yeah, it's like a sleeping angel. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so it is a little bit unusual to see them little bridges going across into your gardens. But obviously the uh, brook underneath obviously is dry. But it still looks nice. Not a credit given there. I think the traffic though is letting it down a little. be honest it is it's letting it down right I'm gonna walk over see where them boards are I'm gonna walk over to that and then we're gonna walk back down to where the car is and then to where that big path is so because I don't know what that is right. what are you doing are you waiting there right. unsuitable for HGVs yeah, there's some boards up here, so we're just going to go and take a look. Nooking Lane. Very good. That's what it's called. And you've got Manor Farm, just over on your right. Yeah, there's these boards here, so might as well just come and take a quick look, see what's on them. Do not exceed five miles an hour. Oh, wow. Jesus, this is huge. Wow. Oh, wow. That is big. The Smithy and the Forge. Now, I don't know what that is. Aylesbury Manor Farms. But that uh, Smithy and the Forge sounds a little bit different. It really does. Well, there's the farm anyway, across the road, Manor Farm. Can't really see in apart from what I've just showed you. Yeah, what a name, Nooking Lane. Different. Yeah, definitely different. Church Lane. Yeah, so that what you're looking at just there must be part of Manor Farm. Must be. Yeah, it is. Part of Manor Farm. Right, I'll just turn the camera to this side for a second until we just get further down. So that first place that I showed you, best 
futurist there's nothing to explain what it is at all at least there's a bin yeah so here's that path what we saw earlier and it says public footpath so we're going to take a walk down and have a look nice view though yeah, a very nice view. Nice patio. Well, conservatory, should I say. <laughs> Thought that was a crop circle then. From over there to my left. So that goes all the way around them big trees. It looks like a got a big crop circle around it obviously it's not but it's what it looked like and there's the top of the church wonder what else me and Keely's gonna find today well well I should have said what Keely's gonna find today Hey? Yeah, I know, but look at that other stuff we found. That cannon, statues, mm -hmm. that, like a chicken pen, pig pen, or whatever it's supposed to have been. So, I mean, you know, you just never know what else we might find. Nice woodland area, though. Right, I'll bring you back when we get just a little bit further down. Right, I brought you back because we're uh, a little bit further down. And we'll just spin the camera. So there's the car all the way in the background. Still a nice view though, I've got to be honest. Still a lovely view. Well yeah, it's only a very small village. Well, like I said, I think the traffic's letting it down a bit. Because no it. Hey? No, no, I mean, we haven't noticed a bus. We haven't seen a bus stop. We've only seen one bin, uh, one post box. But you would have definitely thought there would have been a bus stop somewhere. Because, like I said, you know, it might only be a small village, but even villagers should have buses. I know people might turn around and say, well, the village is not big enough. Could be right, but just don't know, do you? Butterflies everywhere. <laughs> it's a really nice view all the way over in that background. You can see for at least two miles. And you've got your woodland area there. No, that uh, public footpath, what we went through earlier. You all right? Yeah, I've got white bugs all over me. Yeah, that's probably because with your white shorts attracting them, attracting bugs. Yeah, as I was saying, that gate we went through, that second public footpath uh, gate, like I said, if it hadn't been for Keely having shorts on, we'd have probably walked down to see where it went to. But we will come back and probably have a walk, just to see. Wind starting to pick up now. Thought it would. I think, actually, you could be right, couldn't you? you yeah, so all the way over there, it could actually bring you out just here. You're probably even right there, to be honest. No, because your legs would have been stung up. No, oh, that's unfair, that. Another nice woodland area to walk through, though. I 
what we're going to find in this one a tank well we found a cannon what are you going to do find a, a tank a couple of hand grenades you never know no I'm only joking then again I don't know I mean you just don't know what is deep in these woods and bushes well I know one thing can I just point this out whoever's hung that with a dog crap in seriously there's a bin at the bottom of this where me and Keely's walking wow disgusting absolutely disgusting so I thought I'd hope there's some up there I keep having a look I seriously do yeah just keep looking because you just don't know what you might see but no that was uh, that was disgusting everybody that you know if you've got dogs yeah I agree pick up the crap put it in a bag but at least stick it in that A bin There's some dirty people, gotta be honest. Grab me. Hey? You what? On the grass. What? Another one? Dog mess. Oh, a dog mess. You're not even picking bags up. That's what I'm saying, isn't it? You know, use a bag. At least put it in a bin. Don't just, you know, don't just throw it here, there, and everywhere and whatever else it's totally unfair you know because if kids come down here they end up walking in it and stuff gets all over your shoes and trainers boots and it can also cause blindness as well look at that big uh, washing machine in the background everybody oh there's two them big wind turbines I always call them Keely's washing machine because I tell you something, it does use some bloody electric. I mean, I, I did say to her when uh, the other washer packed up, and I, I did say to Keely, I said, pick whatever washer you want because I'm going to pay for it. So she uh, picked one as big as that over there. That's only 13 kilograms. Yeah, 13 kilograms. I'll tell you what, though, it's got some bloody weight in it. Turn it off, time Yeah, all right, don't get too snobby. And she can everybody. Um, you just down download. Yeah, you just download the app to your phone and you can turn your washer on when you're out and that's exactly what Keely wanted. So it's not like we don't obviously we don't use the app, to be totally honest, we do not use it. Um, it's just you know, it just come with the washer. So why not? And just point out as well, um, on Saturday uh, we went to Wheelsby Road uh, Riding School in Grimsby um, because I went and donated my nice lovely horse saddle yeah I donated my lovely horse saddle to uh, Wheelsby Road uh, Riding School on Saturday so uh, it's had some wear and tear but it's still in good condition just wanted a bit of a clean and uh, I was going to sell it a while back but then I thought you know what now nah, I can't be bothered so I'll donate it to uh, Wheelsby Road Riding School in Grimsby why not they'll make some good use out of it hopefully tell you what though this is a nice walk it is lovely walk like we said we don't know where it's going but we're just gonna take a walk and see look at the view though in the background how nice is that <laughs> now we've just seen some houses um, across the field so we don't know what village it is or anything so we're not gonna know until eh? it don't work well it's got a it tank gone on for miles but it's gone on for a little while on it so we're just going to take a look down here and uh, like I said earlier, see where it takes us and just see what we can see as normal. Morning. Hello, you're right. 
Yeah, lovely. Gorgeous little dogs. Oh, well, there you go then. So one of them's called uh, Lily. Oh, and Dexter. Right. Be careful these nettles sticking out. Because your legs. Two beautiful little dogs. Tell you what though, it is a really nice walk for anybody who has got dogs. It really is and I mean that. Because obviously how long this path is and how long it comes up it's gone on for. Yeah, miles. It only feels like miles. Oh, you've got an abandoned you know, an old abandoned tractor and stuff in this field as well. So might as well take a look. It's only just got 12 o'clock. Yeah, so you've got an abandoned tractor. You've got a caravan down there as well. So like I said, we're gonna carry on. And then we're gonna get ready to uh, head back. But it is a nice place to walk your dogs though. Hey, spitting. Yeah, well, we're gonna be heading back shortly. That goes past. There's the path. No. Hey? This is a house. What is This is. Is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah. Victoria House. Oh, okay. Right, we'll go for this speed bump. It's only a little then. Up and off, I think I can see a bin. Well, no, it's still a bin, though. It's still a bin. A bin's a bin, ain't it? Brown ones. Hey? Eh? Yeah, I know. I'm going to take a look. Home Garth. Wow. Chuffing hell. You're not kidding the size of it. Honestly. Nice though. Absolutely nice. Public footpath. Or oh, do you want to go straight up to there? Tell you what, we'll just yeah, we'll take a quick little watch around this corner. I know where that gate. Right, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. If this gate was shut, yeah, you can't go through there then. But it says public footpath, so I think the public footpath goes through the field. So I'm not. Ah, right. It leads to some houses, cottages. So we'll take this path then. We'll take this path up here and then we'll turn around and we'll head completely back. How far it is. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to go uh, so far up here and then we're going to turn around and head back. But yeah, really nice. Oh, yeah. Electric charger, eh? I'm going to say that's fit 500, it's not electric. Okay. Yeah, so we're not going to walk up that other path. So we're just going to take a walk up here instead. Yeah. 
You want exercise? You bloody good exercise. Because I tell you, it's a walk and a half. It really is. Ah, some of the locals. Yep. Look how far this property goes down. Honestly. Oh wow, what have we got here? Oh, ah, right, got some more woods here. Yeah, so they just come out oh, they just come out the woods? Yeah. They just come out the other end. Alright. Oh, Another place for us to come back to then. Yeah, they've just come from. They've gone up here and they've come out from that ramp up there. Right, so what do you want to do then? Do you want to walk in here or do you want to carry on down to these houses? Right, well let's just see what's here then. Right, just hang on a minute. Let's have a look through this bit here. Right, well that takes you right through into another field. That way. Right, that takes you into another field and then it goes all the way across to some more houses. So did you want to come back to this one? And we'll just have a walk up there instead. Because <coughs> it looks like a really nice place to come and have a walk, doesn't it? On a separate video. It's up to you. Because I had someone in here and I didn't know who it was. And until they come out at that end, you know where that silver gate is? And yeah. They come out of it. Oh, right. Oh, well, we'll just carry on up here then. See what's up here. And then we'll head back. <sighs> it's all houses. That's what it looks like, isn't it? Mm. Looks like it's just all houses. Well, what a nice wood. Yeah, it's really nice, that. Yeah, it really yeah, well, what's this? Is this a village, then, or...? Mm -hmm. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is a village. Right, we'll tell you what, then. We'll spin round and we'll, uh, we'll head back, then. Head back the way we've come. Because otherwise, if we end up walking... Yeah, this yeah. is where this old couple came from, that was here. Yeah, well, that, that gate has got private thing on it. Oh, do you want to have a walk? I'll do it another day. Well, we'll do it another day then. We'll come back. Well, I'll show you where we came out. Oh, I like this gate. That's really nice, that. <sighs> yeah, but the thing is, further down there, where that gate is, it says, you see, you've got a public footpath sign, what goes off to your left. But then you've also got one that goes to your right as well. Now, obviously, that's got to come out somewhere. This is where they came out with. Not there. Somewhere here. These came out of here. This bit here. They came out of there. This bit here. They came out of here. To go down there. Right, so now yeah, wind's picking right up now. Right, there's some houses up here, the woods on your left, and there's a farm. To your right, so I don't want to go walking up there just in case. Now, obviously, that says private road, no access uh, without permission. That says keep off the grass. Then it says Hazel Dean, we're where with the dogs. So I'm not going to go walking up there. But the problem is with it though, 
you've got two public footpath signs, which is a bit weird. Oh well. Right, so we're going to head back then, take a walk yeah, back. Out, right, so they came out that yeah. gap in the woods. Yeah, because they come down here with the dog. Right. This is what I said, innit, when you're out and about, you just... Well, places like these you've never been to, and then when you do come to it, you just get lost, kind of. <laughs> well, you do, really. Anyway, uh, right, so it's a big thumbs up from... Don't see it. Well, this village is out the way. Because it's out the way and you can't find it. <coughs> right. Keep to the side because I think I can hear a car. Yeah, it's out of yeah, I know. And we're literally near his driveway. Well, obviously, it goes past his driveway. Oh, gate's closed. Yeah, I know. Mad, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Yeah, so I was going to say, it's a big thumbs up from me. It's a big thumbs up from Keeley. Um, I'd love it. Yeah, and that's the way that they do, isn't it? Nice place, though. Out the way. Anyway, so it's a big, big thumbs up from me, big thumbs up from Keeley. Um, and um, we're going to wrap the video up when we get back nearer to where the car is. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this unusual walk with me and Keely. And, uh, so anyway, so here's uh, that field again with the tractors. A tractor over in the background. A caravan. caravan. And there's other... Some other bits and pieces, like a barbecue and stuff as well. Got a trailer. Got got a van. Oh yeah, you have. And then right in the background, Keely's just pointed out, you've got uh, a bag. And we can hear some aeroplanes as well. Above our heads. No, oh, it's an RAF jet. It's a definite nice place to come for a walk with your dogs. Definitely. Especially like because you've got all this path, then you've got the wood as well. And then you just all in the distance, you've got your main road, um, obviously. Up to, well up towards uh Grinsby one way and I think it's the Umber Bridge at or up towards the Umber Bridge, I think it I think that goes. I didn't really take no notice on where it goes. No, don't we go from quite often? Yeah. Uh, yeah, once a month we normally pass it, but obviously, I just don't know the actual uh, name of the road because I don't really take no notice because obviously I know where I'm going. And just over in the distance, you've got a prison van. You know, if anybody's interested. If anybody is interested, is it uh, G for us, G for S, or is it G only? If anybody can see just up there, but jets are flying around. RF jets, that second one. Looks like somebody's tiring the dogs out. Can't blame her. That's it, hey darling. Hi. Beautiful dogs. But yeah, nice view. And there's them washing machines again. I mean, turbines. Yeah, so where we were just about to walk brings you out over there. Now, we don't know the name of that village. But I will try to find out later when we get back home.
Yeah, well, we do come out on uh, some unusual days, don't we? Oh yeah, yeah, it is that bloke again with them dog Lily and Dexter, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> and the wind's just starting to pick up, and it looks like somebody's somebody's definitely wearing his dogs out. Have you worn them out yet? Uh, <laughs> Can't be up for them dogs, these lot. Hello, Lily. Look at that. Oh, they're really sweet, it's, aren't they? It's father and daughter. All right. Yeah, yeah. Really, there's, there's really. Another generation in the village as well. Well, no, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're we'll, we're going to carry on now. A gentleman we've just been talking to has just uh, told us about um, some more locations um, where there's some of the woods and stuff. So what we're going to do is when we can get a day when the weather's finally picking its sand back up, we're going to. And just point out, there's a washing machine in the background, and the gentleman I've just been talking to, even he calls them washing machines, even though they're only turbines. Uh, yeah, so. I've been doing it when the, yeah, when we'll, it, the weather comes yeah, back. When the weather's finally picked its end back up, these other two locations that the gentleman um, has told us about, and he said it's really nice basically to, you know, go and walk, and it goes on for a bit of a while basically, and. Um, and that as well so we're going to leave that obviously for a few days let the weather pick up like I said then we're going to come back to them two locations um, and we're going to go and take a walk but anyway we're going to wrap this video up when we get all the way back down here uh, back to where the car is and hopefully the gentleman's going to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well which is uh, going to be brilliant it will be nice but uh, yeah what a view lovely view lovely walk and like I said, them woods we've just shown you back there as well, that seems uh, so grand, you know, to take your dogs for a walk and that as well. But, like we said earlier um, about finding unusual things, I mean, <laughs> you know, like I said, with that cannon and statues and stuff, and then obviously well, today... keep asking where it is, and unfortunately, that location isn't... No, obviously somebody. Yeah, we just want to point out. Yeah, that location. Uh, we. I just want to point this out. That location, like I said, where we found them, uh, that cannon and them statues. Somebody's asked us um, whereabouts in Lincolnshire it is. And as I did turn around, say I'm not giving that location away simply because of that. Um, and like I also explained as well, it would be unfair for them uh, statues and cannon and everything to get vandalised. So I do apologise, so if that person does watch uh, this upload, then I'm sorry that I'm not giving that location away. Uh, today, obviously, um, it's a Aylesbury, um, which is obviously in Lincolnshire, and it's a, only a small village, lovely church. But this walk, what we, you know, we've just done now, absolutely grand, perfect for anybody, you know, to take a walk, it goes on for some distance and then like i said at the bottom you've got them woods so we are going to come back and we're going to go in them woods then obviously we, once the weather's picked up we're going to go and check out the um other uh two locations as well so that's going to be fun and interesting but the location we was going to today like i said the road's blocked off so we had to do a u-turn so we thought right we'll just nip out here take a look what this place is all about and if i'm totally honest yeah it's nice. You lose your dog, you? You in there. Yeah, you imagine having having like little dash hounds or something or them little um what we call it dogs. The oh. little, yeah, pugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you imagine. Pugs going running in there. Running in there, you won't find it. <laughs> you won't find, especially if they lost their way back. Obviously I know they'll not lose their way back to you of course, but but no, you definitely uh, lose something as small as them anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, the name of that church, by the way, I didn't know what it was, the actual name of it, but it's uh, a parish, Aylesbury Parish. So I just wanted to point that out in case anybody asks what's the name of it. Well, I've just mentioned it now. Look 
how far that goes on for though. Um, yeah, yeah, the, just there, what you're looking at now where the camera is, I thought it were crop circles. Because I mean, you do, you know, if you go on YouTube and uh, look up crop circles, you'll actually see that there's like crop circles in cornfields and stuff. And then people get the wrong idea and say, oh, it's aliens, it's not bloody aliens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, like I said, they're not aliens what causes uh, crop circles. Um, so if anybody does think, oh, it's aliens, no, it bloody isn't. No such thing as uh, aliens. I know people see things in the skies and I know, oh, it's a UFO, but then again, it might not be. It might not be a UFO, it might just be some, um, maybe an unidentified flying aircraft from the army or something, you know. Um, but. Nah, I don't believe in this uh, UFO causing crop circles in cornfields and etc. Sorry, but I don't. Unless I actually come across one while me and Keely's out walking and I say, oh, there's a bloody alien over there. Look, here, look at this spaceship, look, right in the middle of that field. <laughs> Keely's just telling me, I said, she'd be, she'd be jumping in the car and come on, we're off. <laughs> now, what's the chances of bumping into a bloody alien over here? Or walking across a field and seeing a UFO yeah. just sat there. Well, hang on a minute. Nah, nah, I don't believe in it. Where we did that church, look what you had stuck behind you. Yeah, but I mean, when we did that church and um, I had them black, that black figure stood right near my shoulder, and then when I spun the camera around, there some black figures stood near graves. That's totally different. But they're not bloody UFOs and <laughs> aliens. So if anybody does believe in aliens, um, I'd probably say, uh, stop getting drunk. Um, stay off your, your weed or whatever makes you hallucinate. I just want to point that out anyway. Anyway, right, so we're going to wrap this video up back up here, um, up near the church. Like I said, small village, nice. A uh, couple of unusual things, like, you know, them big eagles and that. Uh, bits what Keely's found brand new in them bags, of them lanyard things. Lovely place to take a walk with your dogs. Nice church to go with the village. And, uh, yeah. Nice walk. Absolutely. And there's the church. Look how lovely it stands out. Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up. Uh, just further down here. Just where the car is. And then, uh, yeah. I'm going to go home. Before the weather decides to kick in. Sorry, everybody. I've just... I don't know what I've just spotted. Oh, I have. Let me just try to zoom in a little bit. If anybody can just see that like a post sticking up. Now, the reason why, I've just said that's a little bit unusual because it looks like a big manor house. Could be wrong. I know the manor farm's there, but I'd love to see uh, how big the actual manor house is. Would be nice. Right, so we're going to wrap it up just around this corner and I'm just going to give somebody some uh, free advertising as well. I might as well do it. So, so I'll give some free advertising, Alan Aid, Gas and Eating Services, mobile numbers on there. So if anybody is interested, free advertising for this gentleman and uh, yeah, why not? Right, so... Uh, Tell you what, we'll wrap this video up facing that sign. So right, it's a big thumbs up from me, big thumbs up from Keely, and we'll see each and every one of you definitely on the next one. And like I said, gas and eating services, Alan Aids. There he is, there's his number. Ring him up for all your gas and heating problems. Bye for now, see you on the next one. Bye for now.